Hey Chef, welcome back to another video. Today is a plant chore day video. I'm obviously filling up my humidifier tanks. So I'm gonna go around and water some plants. Uh, just check out a few others as I'm kind of suspicious of one plant in particular of still having thrips or bugs. So I'm just gonna take you along and uh, just watch me do some chores today. As you can see, this table is a disaster. Just gonna take the lid over, fire up the humidifier again. This thing is pretty sweet. It is set to high humidity production. Uh, right now downstairs it is around 50%, so just kind of bumped it up. I want it around that 60% downstairs with my house plants. Right now I have two humidifiers for my downstairs plants, obviously the larger one right there. And then I have a smaller tank uh, right down here for this uh, section of plants. Uh, the one thing I don't like about this container in particular is whenever you pull it off of the docking station, it does drip a lot, so you tend to get a lot of water on the floor. Okay, and the fill hole is it's just a small little hole, so I'm gonna try and do my best not to spill. Okay, not bad, made a little bit of a mess. Let's put this one on. This one actually puts out uh, a pretty good humidity uh, mist there as well. So just some extra humidity for these plants uh, around the uh, floor and on the plant table here. I'm just gonna go around and uh, water some of my plants that obviously need water, but I do fertilize through the winter months here as well because uh, when plants are underneath these uh, grow lights, I do have them on a timer for like 14 hours. So they don't know that it's winter outside upstairs and obviously they're getting the same consistent amount of sunlight. So a lot of my plants downstairs are growing. So that's why I fertilize at full strength. This is a liquid fertilizer. You just uh, follow the recommended dosing on the back, put it in a canister of water. And this is my filtered water that I bring downstairs from the upstairs tap. And I'm just gonna go around and check and uh, see which ones need water. So I've been using beneficial bugs or predatory mites for uh, a thrip issue that I've had downstairs here. And I put one plant in the bathroom that I'll show you here in a second that it's not looking too good. So I'm thinking it might have thrips again. So this is my Hoya Potsii uh, propagation that I've done um, maybe a couple months ago. I rooted it in my perlite prop box and I have since put it in this uh, terracotta uh, in soil and it's been pushing out a couple new stems so I, uh, I am fertilizing this one as well. There's a, I actually watered these guys a couple days ago. This is the Syngonium Green Splash. Here is a Anthurium Magnificum. I got this one from a plant auction website for a pretty decent price. Okay, this guy is not looking too good. I'm just gonna, where's my little watering tree? That's what I should be doing. Oh man, I have no room anymore. It's pretty dry. So I'm just gonna give this some water. Let that soak through. I haven't had a chance to take these guys out of the sphagnum moss yet. Uh, if you follow my channel for any length of time, I know sphagnum moss is a really good rooting medium, but they're a nightmare to get off roots, especially with Hoyas. So I like to pull them out of the sphagnum moss and then put them in like a, an aeroid mix or something like that. This is a reverted philodendron Burley Marks um, that I picked up off the plant auction website. This one's really dry and it's in a nice chunky soil. I'll let this one uh, drain through the bottom here. I'm gonna give it a little bit more water here as well. It doesn't look like there's any soil. It just looks like, a, like an orchid bark, uh, sphagnum moss, perlite, chunky mix. Not looking the greatest, but hopefully uh, it'll start pushing out some new growth soon. I'm just gonna give it a little bit more water. 
put it back in its little saucer so it can drip in there. Here is a little anthurium. Uh, again, this was off the plant auction website. Uh, I believe this one was the Crystal Hope. So now getting a new little leaf. But the soil is dry for this one. Just gonna help it along with a little bit of water and fertilizer. Guess I should focus on what I'm doing here. I've really gotten into anthuriums. They are a pretty easy uh, plant to take care of, but you do have to watch out for spider mites with these guys. So I always get my little flashlight, which I don't have right now, stand by. And I like to use uh, a little flashlight, just shine it behind the leaf and it kind of illuminates any uh, spider webs or anything like that. But you gotta be really careful with these guys so that they don't get uh, spider mite damage. If you catch it uh, fairly quick, then it's uh, pretty easy to treat. Usually you can just like blast them off with uh, some water, but uh, yeah, this guy is just a tiny little anthurium. Hopefully the new relief is bigger. I have to clean out this saucer, but I had a, uh, a couple of jade leaves just fall off of my plant from back here. Pickles is losing her mind upstairs. Um, and I literally just uh, placed it in the saucer here and you can see it's getting some new growth already. It's uh, sprouted some roots. It's getting two little growth points. Same with this one here as well. Didn't spray it, didn't water it or anything like that. And it's uh, getting some new little growth. So I'm gonna set these aside. I might actually just place them back in the, uh, in the jade plant. I'm just gonna dump them right in the soil. One right there, the other one right there. And it eventually will root into a new plant. Here is the Anthurium clarinervium. This is in a self-watering pot. You can see the soil is still pretty uh, moist there. Uh, it's got a little bit of water in the bottom, so I'm not gonna do anything with this. I will just kind of check it over for any spider webs. And if I see anything, then obviously treat it. You can treat it with like a, uh, insecticidal soap or something like that, or even just spray it off. Here is the plant I was really suspicious of and I kind of already looked it over so I'll show you what a thrip looks like. Um, you can see there is some discoloration at the top of the leaf there. These ones are super droopy, it just looks like garbage. I'm going to see if I can get it here. I'm going to zoom in if I can. Um, I hope they didn't, yeah right there. Right here, right there is a thrip. And there's another one right there. Dirty buggers. So there's two thrips. Oh, there's an adult one right there. No, yeah, that's an adult thrip right there. That black piece is an adult and the white ones are the little nymphs. So this, that's what thrips look like. Brutal. So this is the leaf that has the thrips on them. I'm going to cut this one off. This leaf, it just looks like it's been overwatered or something like that. I'm just gonna cut them all off. All these little leaves. Just checking it over. This one does not look like it has thrips. I'm gonna flip this one over. It's really handy if you use a light. Doesn't look like it on that one. I'm gonna spray it down. This leaf, I'm gonna suspect it does. Looks like there might be an egg or something right there. You can see that little dot. They do lay their eggs on the leaves. I'm gonna snip this one off. I'm so upset. I thought I had these thrips under control. That's the thing with thrips is you think you have them under control and they keep coming back. Uh, let's see. Doesn't look like I have any on that, but I'm going to cut the rest of these leaves off. I'm so upset because this was one of my favorite plants. Um, do not put these in like the compost or anything like that throw them out. I'm putting them right outside. So I brought this over to my bathroom and I'm using uh, Dr. Dune's uh, indoor plant bug spray and it uh, does treat uh, thrips, uh, spotted mites, aphids, that sort of thing. Just give it a good shake. Make sure this is in a well-ventilated area and this product kills the bugs on contact so it actually has to touch the bugs. So I'm going to start off with uh, spraying the tops of the leaves. Just kind of give them a good coating like that. I'm just gonna turn this around. And then make sure, obviously the bugs are currently on the back side of the leaves. So I'm just gonna spray the whole top like that. 
and then I'll do the underside of the leaves. You want to let this dry and when the product uh, is finished drying it is no longer effective and it should have killed those bugs so I'm going to just set this down and do the back side. gonna do this one too. This stuff it stinks but not like um, some other products. Like this one it doesn't smell good obviously but it's not as bad as some of the other ones out there. Okay I'm gonna coat this whoops I'm gonna coat the uh, stems here as well because they could be down in the little cracks and crevices down there so I just want to make sure that this plant is fully covered and I'm really concerned about these ones that are um, just starting to unfurl. Sometimes bugs will kind of hide in there and you won't see them until the uh, new leaf unfurls. So. Okay, gonna let that dry and that should be it for the thrips. So this is where the wall HEI was. I don't see any other damage on the uh, homolamina selby here. And same thing, I just look kind of underneath the leaves. I'm gonna definitely keep an eye on this plant or like all these plants uh, surrounding it just to make sure that um, there isn't an issue um, down the road kind of thing. So I'm not gonna quarantine these. Like I just have too many plants to place in the bathroom, but or in quarantine, but just check the leaves, just make sure that Okay, so these are all kind of gross and dying. I'm just gonna take these off. I don't know if they're actually even doing anything. I'm just gonna snip off these uh, dead older leaves. I forgot, whoops, that one went right in there. That was convenient. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna snip all these ones off. I did forget to water these on an occasion or two. So that's why they're looking a little bit crispy. So I'm just gonna cut them off, let these uh, uh, new leaves focus on uh, growing. So there's a new one coming in right there. Okay, so yeah, just check the tops and bottoms of the leaves. Just making sure that there's no bugs or pests. I'm actually going to spray these ones down too. They're so dusty and dirty. That's probably half the issue with most of my house plants is just because I've been giving these predatory mites a, a chance to uh, do their thing. I haven't been washing or cleaning the tops of the leaves off. So everything looks really gross and cut this one off too. Oh, there's a couple down here. Older ones. Just gonna snip these guys off. This one here too. This one's actually pretty dry. Actually, no, underneath it's uh, still okay. So, okay. And maybe this one down here. It's looking a little crusty. Here is my philodendron fuzzy petiole. I looked this one over pretty good. Thrips seem to love philodendrons and monsteras. So I've been really paying attention to this uh, monstera here as I don't want thrips on this one because it's gorgeous. Here's the newest leaf. Look at this thing, it's just absolutely beautiful. So yeah, I, uh, I looked over the fuzzy petiole pretty closely. It's getting some new growth, but it's getting few of these older leaves are just dried off so I'm just gonna pluck these out. I like to carry around my little Tupperware. I'm actually gonna cut these ones off just at the bottom here. They're eventually just gonna rot off anyways. I'm just on the ground here and this humidifier is just blasting me in the face so just turn it off. Get a couple more. Where are you? These little guys down here. So, yeah, clean it up a bit. The soil is dry on top, a little bit damp below. So I'm just gonna leave it for now. Let these guys continue to grow. Look at these leaves, just gorgeous. My Mona Lisa is dropping a few flowers now. Always vacuuming and cleaning up. Okay, here is my little Bambino fiddle leaf fig. It's now covered by the Monstera. I'm just gonna move it to a different spot. And actually, you know what? I'm gonna take this upstairs and spray it off. Give it a good cleaning. 
these leaves are gross. Here's my little philodendron silver, silver sword. It's got it on the floor here, it's getting a new leaf. Just gonna give this guy some water. And then the Monstera Deliciosa, that's pretty dry, so I'm just gonna top it up here as well. Hopefully by using the fertilized uh, water or fertilizer in the water, it gives me a new leaf soon, another new leaf. This one's still hardening off, but they're gorgeous, gorgeous leaves. Okay, I'm gonna fill up my container. Uh, check these guys back here. Aglaonema Silver Bay, this one, it's looking, actually it's still, the soil feels wet. So I'm gonna leave this one. Got the DJ Freeman back here, that's pretty dry. My Birds of Paradise. Ooh, it's getting a new leaf, nice. Okay, I'm gonna give this one some water, then these plants back here. My Anthurium Brownii, this guy, it's okay. Still a little damp, lower. Everything's looking good with these. Here's the newest leaf. Again, just making sure I'm not seeing any thrips or anything on these guys. Just gonna check the back of this. Okay. And the Birds of Paradise is pretty dry here as well. It's actively growing, so it's getting some fertilizer as well. Do you have it on this little drip tray down here? And I also added some extra little holes on the side just so I can see when the water starts to come out. It's gonna give this a good thorough watering here. Let that soak through. I'm gonna give this guy some water as well. The BJ frame is pretty dry. This one, I'm like I water quite often, maybe like once a week, maybe once every week and a half kind of thing. It's also getting some new growth. Such an easy care plant. This one is, uh, it's huge. It's in a, like a 10 inch pot, I think. 10 or 12 inch pot and it's a really nice full full plant that should be good for those just gonna keep an eye on the uh on the drip tray so it's coming out the side of this pot here so i'm gonna leave that for right now this one i don't want to overflow and destroy my floor so i think that'll be good for now here's my beautiful Diefenbachia reflector and i've been bottom watering these guys like my three Diefenbachias here for the last little while because whenever i water from the top and uh, basically soak it until it comes out the bottom of the drain hole i find that this so uh, the soil stays wet for too long so all i've been doing this is fertilized water is just filling up the saucer till it uh, reaches the top and with uh, the uh, drain hole at the bottom and in combination with the terracotta, it will wick the water up and the plant will take up as much water as it needs. And I'll do the same with these ones here too. Just fill up the saucer. So I'm using a like a larger saucer for these guys. And I will judge or determine by the weight of the pot. Actually, this one's okay. And I can feel the soil is still pretty damp on this one. This one was really light. It's getting a little bit of a crispy edge there. so. Actually, I'm gonna take that one off as well. You can usually just pull these Diefenbachia leaves off like that, but I recommend using gloves as the sap can be pretty toxic. But uh, yeah, that's, so that's what I've been doing with these guys, just bottom water, that's how I do it. You can get a Tupperware container um, and just uh, put the, the, uh, the pot in the container, fill up the container and just let it sit there for like 10, 15 minutes, let it soak up what it needs. But uh, this is how I've been bottom watering some of my house plants and a lot of times or most of the time I will either determine um, whether it needs water just by checking the soil and by the weight of the pot and even by the leaves like if they get droopy then that's probably a good sign um, to just uh, check it out uh, see if it needs water or see if it's like a pest issue or something like that okay so I think that's gonna be pretty much it for watering just gonna tidy up the area here and uh, it should be done I'm right, just gonna put all these leaves in the garbage Just set my water down here. I'm gonna clean off these saucers another day, but just kind of tidy things up, make everything look good. I'll be putting these uh, beneficial bugs back on the plants. I don't know if they actually do anything or not, but I just noticed my poor little Syngonia Winlandia. I needed some water. Just gonna give this some water, then I'll clean off the table here, and that'll be it for this video. Where's that one leaf? I, uh, I got a new leaf and then I pinched it in a pot a little while ago and it uh, tore off the, uh, the tip of the leaf there. Not, uh, but I got a new one coming in, that's okay. Let's give it some fertilizer, let's give it some water. Set that aside. Okay. Ooh, 
my saucer's filling up, whoops. Okay, so I'll let that soak up. I'm not gonna water it anymore, otherwise I'll get a big mess on my table. So I'll set that aside over there. Um, yeah, let's clean off the table. Hope you guys like this uh, plant chore video. I really enjoy filming these ones. These are fun to make. Plant chores to me is uh, pretty relaxing for the most part, but sometimes like when you have um, a lot of plants like I do, it can get a little overwhelming sometimes. But yeah, that's kind of a gross, dusty, dirty table. I'll uh, move the rest of the plants here later on, but for right now, I just wanted this area cleaned up and I think it looks pretty good. So thanks again for watching everyone. I think that's gonna be pretty much it for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please leave it down below. That's gross right in my hand. Uh, but uh, thanks for watching. Take care, bye.